We are living through an unprecedented time right now and a lot of us are locked indoors with a lot of free time. Now with this comes an opportunity. There's always those things that we'll get round to doing when we have the time. Well, now might be a good chance to do them. A few days ago the UK had gone into lockdown which means we are not able to leave our homes with some exceptions and I suppose I'm quite fortunate because I have the ability to work from home and make these videos so I'll be trying to keep myself busy by making some content which I suppose in turn is a good thing because there might be some of you watching who are also stuck at home wanting something to watch so I'll take it upon myself to make some more content but yeah it's a, a very strange time at the moment for the entire world. I don't want to talk too much about this because I feel like that's all we hear about these days but instead I want to talk about what you can do with this time that you might have. Like me, a, a lot of you will be using this as an opportunity to work on your creative endeavours. You might be doing a lot of drawing and making artwork, you might be reading books or even writing one, I, I don't know, but it's important to keep yourself busy. I, I know that a lot of us will be using this time to binge watch Netflix or play some video games. In fact, I think that's what most of the population will be doing and they shouldn't feel guilty for it. I mean, if you are off work and are unable to work from home, then you have to find something to occupy your time. Fortunately, we have all of these sources of entertainment to pass the time. We don't have to resort to the family getting around the table for a, a game of Scrabble. But of course, there's nothing wrong with that. But anyways, yeah, most of us, the people who like to create art, we'll be using a lot of this time to do just that. I realised that I was running low on paper the other day, at least the paper that I draw on which is Bristol board and I had a feeling that I wouldn't be able to leave the house soon so I ordered some online. It was making me laugh though, imagining a situation where you are self isolated indoors, expecting to do a lot of drawing and then you realise you don't have any paper. So what I am intending on doing over this time is creating a lot of drawings. I even ordered a sketchbook. Now, a lot of you will know that it's rare for me to draw in sketchbooks. I normally just draw on separate pieces of paper, but I thought that I'd use this time as an opportunity to try and fill a sketchbook, or at least start to fill a sketchbook. I'm not intending on using it as you'd normally expect a sketchbook to be used because I want to try and cover each page with some artwork as opposed to some random sketches. I like this idea of having a collection of pencil drawings in a book all in one place and I can take it around and, and then travel with it even though I'm not going to be traveling anywhere anytime soon but you know when all of this blows over but yeah I'll be making some videos around that I have a, a series planned for it it's mainly a personal goal of mine to actually fill a, a sketchbook I, I don't think I ever have and um, you see all of these artists on YouTube doing sketchbook tours and I've never been able to do one because I don't have a sketchbook filled with drawings but with time I will so I am waiting for all of that to be delivered I want to make use of this time to work on something. I have a notepad where I write down all of my ideas or make a list of what I need to do throughout the day and that really helps me organise my time and use it more effectively. That might be a, a good starting point actually for a lot of people. You know, if you are finding it hard to get on top of everything you need to do or maybe you are feeling overwhelmed throughout this time, then just take a, a pen and some paper and write it all down. I sometimes find myself feeling lost, I often go through these phases where I get so frustrated with my work, like every idea uh, that I have just doesn't seem good enough or I start to be doubtful of everything and this is likely just part of being human and some of you can probably relate but nonetheless it's good to do what you can to minimise these temporary phases or I suppose it's what people often refer to as art block, you get yourself caught up in a cycle. Well, having a notepad seems to reduce the frequency of all of that because I am able to write stuff down and plan in advance. I've realised that I should definitely take my time to plan something out for quite a while before jumping into executing an idea because it, it reduces the unexpected, right? It saves you a lot of time because you know what you are doing as opposed to just blindly walking into something and taking it as it goes. 
If you are contemplating using this time to start doing something that you've been thinking of doing for a while, then be sure to make yourself a plan so that you can approach it with more confidence. Although be sure not to over plan to the point where you talk yourself out of doing something. What I mean is a lot of the time it's just starting that's most difficult but once we get going we are able to push onwards. I guess an example of this is going to the gym. Now all of the gyms are closed at the minute so maybe it's not the best analogy but you know if, if you've been out of the gym for a while it can be hard to get yourself back in there and start up again. It's like once we miss a, a few days and lose the momentum it's hard to get Get back on the path well that's the same with everything if we build momentum then that pushes us forwards I'm the same when it comes to making these videos I'm sometimes in a routine where I constantly put out content and then if I happen to miss a week and I don't upload then I find it difficult to return to a regular schedule in addition to what I'm discussing here, it's also important to not be too hard on yourself because there's a good balance that is necessary, right? Because we're not machines, we all fall off at times, but we can't make an excuse to stay there. Eventually we need to keep moving. That's what I tell myself, just keep things moving. Regardless of what's going on around you, just keep moving. There's a, a lot of things outside of our control at the moment, but there are still those things that we can control. How we decide to act throughout this time, how we perceive these problems, make something for the better, you know. You want to come out of all of this with some positives, uh, create some artwork, practice and improve your drawing ability. It doesn't even have to be drawing related. Read some books, play some games, make some progress with anything. I've found myself gaming quite a bit recently. I know that for most of you gamers out there, your lifestyle probably hasn't changed that much. Uh, now you have an excuse to game these days away. I've been playing my Nintendo Switch and that game Animal Crossing has just come out, but I'm not playing that. I might get it eventually, but at the minute I've been playing a lot of Mario Odyssey, which is fun, and also Stardew Valley, which is like a farming game. It's very time consuming once you find yourself getting into a, a game like that. I can easily find myself addicted and I end up spending all of my time playing games, so I have to be careful, you know, I do have some responsibilities, but yeah, I am intending on doing a lot of drawing over these next few weeks or months even, depending on how long all of this goes on for. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this one. I'll be making some more videos similar to this, drawing and talking, just keeping you updated. I'll also make some tutorials. Let me know how you are doing in the comments and what you plan on doing over this time, if anything. But more importantly, stay safe and remember, keep things moving.